Hey, it's Cody Near with Bucks Brand Academy, and I wanted to talk about a delayed Facebook pixel and what's that mean. So, this weekend I had the privilege to go speak at AdCom down in Tampa with Dan Henry and team. Uh, Ryan Stuman gave a speech, uh, Gina Poole gave a speech, Mackenzie Lieberman, Jeff J. Hunter. Um, there was a ton of speakers, high quality, massive value, was beautiful. There was one individual, his name was Trevor Chapman, who gave a speech who spoke about retargeting funnels with Facebook. And he mentioned something that I briefly mentioned on in mine, was that nearly 70% of the people who visit your website immediately bounce. They don't see your offer, they don't understand what exactly they saw on your page. So if you're in e-commerce, what's that mean? Okay, so someone visits your website and they bounce and now you're retargeting them and it says, you know, here's the product that you viewed, uh, here's an option, here's 10% off, 20% off, 30% off. And he mentioned, you know, 10% off of what? You know, what, what are you talking about? I didn't see it because 70% of them bounce. So I wanted to talk about a strategy that I implement that actually covers uh, that exact situation and ensures that you do not retarget people who didn't see your offer that bounced and how do we do that? Okay, so here's how we do that The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get our Facebook pixel right here uh, I've got my Facebook pixel um, This is my pixel uh, for Facebook. I will use this if I'm on funnels Click funnels, for instance, uh, if I am going to run ads on uh, Facebook for my Shopify store, um, there's this Facebook pixel code is going to be universal across whatever platform you're using. Uh, Shopify has an awesome feature where you just place your pixel code in the back end under preferences and it does all the tracking and Shopify actually has this ability to implement a delayed pixel fire. Now it's the first time I said a delayed pixel fire because what happens, oh look some ads already going through. What happens when a pixel fires? A pixel fires, it creates an event inside your Facebook ads. So it shows that someone either viewed, they went to cart, they viewed your product, they added stuff to cart, it fires that pixel. So I wanted to touch on something that Trevor mentioned and how I go about ensuring that no one gets retargeted with my ads if they bounce, nearly 70% of them do, uh, so how are we going to ensure that we're not spending and wasting a ton of money? Here we go. We're going to take this first code. We're going to copy that. We're going to go down to where it says script in our Facebook pixel code script. Go to space, and we're going to enter that there. Obviously, the size is uh, according to what the size is up here, but it's going to go right there. Then we're going to go to our other piece of script and we're going to go down to the last piece where it says script right by page view script and we're going to hit a space right before that and we're going to enter it right there now what's this do okay it sets a timeout function so it delays the trigger fire which is this script based on three seconds so if you want three seconds put 30,000 or excuse me, 3,000. If you want 10, uh, one second, put 1,000. If you want, you know, 20 seconds, uh, you would have to put 20,000. So uh, at 3,000, it's three seconds, okay? And then take that code right there, and that's the code that you're gonna put in to your funnel or to your e-commerce store or utilize on your landing pages for your ads. And that's gonna delay that pixel from firing three seconds when someone visits that page. And you're gonna optimize your ads and your ad spend is gonna go a lot longer. So I hope you guys found some value with this. Uh, shout out to AdCom, Dan Henry and the squad, awesome job. And shout out to Trevor Chapman for bringing up an awesome point and allowing me to a, a learning opportunity and a teaching opportunity on something that I find valuable. See you guys.